sit down. Heel. Down. Okay. Good boy. Let's stay. All right, so quick video with Zeke. Uh, last time I think I did one with him, I was teaching him to go into a down and hold it without popping back up every time and not having to lean all the way down and lure him to the ground. So now I can stand up straight and just basically move my hand like this and say down and he goes into a down. Show you what I mean again. Come here, Zeke. Come. Down. So there's no more leaning over. To coax him to the ground with the food and he remains into it down. Nice and calm. Eye contact looking at me. He's focused. He's waiting for that reward. Good. But the longer he does it, the longer he just gets used to doing it. And then when I want to release him, I just, okay. So he's doing awesome. His healing with me next to me when I'm just walking without no leash on or anything, no, no training collar, nothing. This is just repetition, 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 and only rewarding him when he does what I want. Uh, his stay is getting really good. You saw, come on. Stay. Before, when we very first started this, he couldn't stay longer than a half a second. Good. Stay. Especially if I moved away and turned my back to him and started making any other kind of noise. Good. Come on. Oh, come on. Sit. Good. So when I call him to a come, like he came to me there, but when I call him in, I want him to sit nice and tight in like this. And it's just a good habit to get him into, to have him in close to your leg in case you ever need to reach down and grab your dog. You don't have to reach way out there to get him. He's just right here. So if I need to grab his collar right now for whatever reason, he's just right here, nice and easy and handy. Good boy, down. As far as getting along with other dogs, we've had a couple, you know, not even fights, just a little, couple little arguments, I'd say. No, uh, no real physical encounter. Now, come here. Down. No real physical encounters or or biting or anything like that, just some growling and some more more noise than anything. But uh, when they do that with him, he's not terrible. So I would just take him out. We'd go outside and and do fun stuff with him. So every time I take it was with Mac. So every time I take Mac out, I'd also bring him and vice versa. And so they started seeing, well, the other one's coming out. That means I get to come out and we're going to go have fun. So it was pretty simple to fix. And then you saw the last video of them swimming together and sharing the stick and, and fetching in the pond and all that good stuff. Good boy.
Okay. So there's a good look at Big Zeke. He's a cool dog, man. You know, big difference from him than there is Remy, the little pit. She's a lot more wound up, a lot more high strung, and everything she does is fast, 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 fast. Him, he's kind of just big old oaf, just lumbering around, and everything he does is a lot slower, but he's it's slow, but it's still on point. So, you know, different different strokes for different folks. Every dog does stuff a little different according to whatever make and model they are. So uh, we will see you on the next one. Have a good weekend. Toodles.